beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in Nuevo Mexico. Beautiful day, beautiful day, beautiful day in Nuevo Mexico. It is beautiful. I love it here. I love it here. This is my home. This is my home. Do -de -de -do. Now, these clouds, you can start to see that they're. There's three crows, two on the fence and one on the on the ground, and then there's another one on the ground over here. Oh, and then there's another one over there. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Could be more. Oh, here comes. Here comes one. Another one flying. Maybe they're leaving because of this one. Mm. You can kind of see that where the so much wind that the snow is almost horizontal. And Bella Rodney, thanks for clicking on my video. Such interesting patterns out there. Beautiful. Uh, the birds over at the coffee shop. A couple of them. I have to put on my boots and go out and give them some water. Oh. I went yesterday to the store. And I went to the dollar store, and the dollar store was closed for some reason, and I went to Smith's and got that candle. It's, it's about uh, maybe 40% more expensive at Smith's. But I think the candle is better. And I'm looking right now for my boots. 
and I can't find my boots. A little swimming pool in the house. Hmm. Oh boy. What did I do with my boots? Oh, nuts. I had their out somewhere close, I think, to the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, here pretty soon, within the next, I think, I think a week from tomorrow. I go and go in for surgery. Here are my boots. I think it's a week from tomorrow that I go in for surgery. And uh, I'm not sure to check. Uh, come on. Uh. See me go and give water to the birds. Does anybody want to do that? Does anybody want to see me go and give water to the birds? Take some water to the coffee shop. We call that the bird coffee shop. So I think I will do that. <sighs> this is enough to top off <clears throat> at least one of them. Okay. Oh, the snow is pretty, pretty fluffy. You can see where the birds have been do a little dance around the coffee shop. Doodly doo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is frozen solid. Well, we'll see what happens. I think the birds will have a I don't even know what the temperature is here. It'll probably take a while for that to freeze, but hopefully it will. With no sun coming up, it's going to be a chilly one. And it's cold out here now. It is cold. So, I'll go back in and sit by the fire. Oh, 
is it by the fire? I'll go and sit by the fire. And I'll take some cardboard in the house and put my boots on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thoink. Whoa. That's good. Anytime I see the birds out there, I always go and give them some water, even if it's cold and got to trap through three feet of snow. You can see how deep it was out there. I'm lucky I made it back in. Oh, oh boy. But anyway, I've, if anybody's out there, I want you to be thinking about me. Send me some good vibes. Give me a, send me a prayer. Ask the Lord to take care of me as I go through this situation with my hernia, which, I'll tell you what, it's, it's something that you don't want to go through. I waited too long to get it fixed, but it's going to get fixed. Uh, on the third. Oh boy. And I'm not looking forward to that. And as long as the recovery is okay, I'll, I'll feel I'll feel fine. I mean, you know. But thank God I have this place. Thank God I have this place. And I made a lot of a lot of wrong choices in my life. And I'm really, really fortunate to have this house. I have a warm place to be and a nice part of the world. It's a, it's a blessing for me. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for watching and bye bye. I don't know if you're able to see that or not, but. What a beautiful sky. Incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see anything other than just the, the moon, but I don't know. Beautiful. The way the clouds are illuminated. What a beautiful, beautiful sky. Look at that moon. It's unbelievable. Wow. shining right through those clouds. Obviously those clouds are very, very thin. It's almost like the, the moon is in front of us. The moon is in between me and the clouds. So bright. Wow, look at that beautiful, wow. Beautiful evening. It's January, I think, the 28th or something. I don't know. It's Thursday. Thursday night. Oh.
Well, the coffee shop is not frozen today. Oftentimes, in the wintertime, a lot of times it's frozen. Sometimes it freezes solid. It does get cold here. It's just still a little chilly. Those mountains in the distance, they have snow. Wow. You can see the pink sky. It's beautiful. Oh boy. A loaf of bread that was eaten up with uh, mold. And it looks like the birds ate the mold. Somebody ate the mold. Oh boy. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow I go to the hospital for a hernia surgery. Hey there, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. Well, I tell you what. Feeling okay. Today is February the 2nd. Tomorrow, let's see what time it is. It's 9.45. So I can't have anything to eat or drink. No water, no nothing. Between midnight tonight and tomorrow, where I go in for surgery. I go in for surgery for a hernia. And... You know, the thing about something like that is that you never can tell what's going to happen. You know? You never can tell what's going to happen. Oh. You never can tell what's going to happen. I'm not too stressed about it, but uh, I'm not looking forward to it. In a way, I am, you know, because this hernia has been giving me problems. And it's really been giving me problems, so I need to get it taken care of. So tomorrow I'm going to get it taken care of. But, you know, I'm going to get put out and I'm going to have 
some, I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to be a uh, robotic surgery. They're going to puncture my, I don't know, down by where the hernia is. Like in three spots and I guess run some stuff in there and see it on a screen and a little robot surgery. And my friend Tommy is going to take me. Tommy's great. A great friend to have. I was thinking about thinking about stuff. And I really don't have very many friends actually. I mean I've got a few. A few good friends. Not really that many though actually. Seventy, I'm seventy years old. I should have. Uh, a lot of friends at this age, but I don't. But I'm probably not that unusual. Probably a lot of people my age don't have that many friends. I live by myself. But tomorrow I go and have surgery. So that's going to be, you know, it's... I've had three surgeries in my life. This would be the third, actually. But you just never can tell what's going to happen. I may go under and never come out. Never can now. You never can tell. Of course, it's just like anything else, you know. You never can tell. You, you know, people get in their cars every day and... They're going to go to the store and come right back and something happens they never come back. At this point in my life, you know, you've been around 70 years. It's interesting. And I was looking at a, a video, Zen Archer. For some reason I started thinking about Zen Archer. Zen Archer was a uh, famous YouTuber back when I first started, got on YouTube. He was actually my very first subscriber. And he's dead now. He died, I guess, in 2015. So he's been dead like six years. going to happen. I really don't know what's going to happen. I've got this book here. Two thousand, two thousand ten, two thousand eleven. So it's like ten years old. It's bound. What's in there? What's in that book? What's in there? What's in there? I just saw that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I mean, for those of you that know me, You know, I've never known what I was going to do, pretty much. I mean, I've always known what I'm going to try to do. and Things sometimes work out. You know? But you never can't tell what's going to happen. So tomorrow I go in for surgery. And then after that, after I get... If I come out of it okay and and I, everything is fine, then I'm going to start doing a, a project. 
and it may be the last project that I ever do. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it, but it's a good project in my mind. Kind of a couple of different projects, and it rolled up into one, maybe. Because I've got to do something. But I just want to make a video, and I'm going to post it. And then I guess I'll see it tomorrow when I get back from the hospital. My friend is, you know, they said, it's a day surgery. I'm not even going to be in the hospital. I'm going to go in the hospital, get it done, and then come home. <laughs> so they say I can't have the surgery unless I have someone that's going to be with me for 24 hours. So I'm going to get that taken care of. I don't know. Ah. Uh, Never can tell. Never can tell what's going to happen. But I look back on my life and I, you know, I'm, I'm happy with a lot of stuff and I'm sad about a lot of stuff. Made a lot of bad mistakes. We all have, I'm sure. I'm not the only one. I was looking at one of my videos a while ago when I was looking up Zen Archer. I've aged quite a bit in five years, six years. So, that's all right. Okay, that's it. Hello, Roddy. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.